Question 4 of Section 2 of the 2018 Higher Physics Examination. A stunt has been carried out during the making of a film. A car is to be driven up a ramp on a moving lorry by a stunt driver who will attempt to land the car safely on the roof of the second moving lorry. The car is to stop on the roof of the second lorry while the lorry is still moving. Using your knowledge of physics, comment on the challenge involved in carrying out the stunt successfully. Now this type of question you're playing for three marks. You're looking for three statements which is going to be backed up by your physics of the challenges involved in this stunt. Well the first one we've got to look at is that this really is a projectile problem. So think in terms of projectiles. Now the obvious thing is, the first challenge is that the two lorries must be kept the same distance apart. Both vehicles must, be, must travel at the same speed to keep a constant distance between them. You want to keep this constant distance between them. Now, another challenge is that you must accelerate that car up the ramp. The ramp has only got a certain length, so therefore you must accelerate the car up the launch ramp to the required velocity needed to give the correct vertical and horizontal components of velocity. Now remember, you're dealing with a projectile here, and if I can remind you, there is the projectile components. We have the velocity of the car, and that velocity at a certain angle can be broken down into components, horizontal component and vertical component. Now, the other challenge is you must accelerate that car to that required velocity so that when the components break down, we can break the components down, the vertical speed component must be of a size that will give a particular time of flight t. You want it to be in the air for a certain amount of time and that comes from your vertical component. So the launch velocity reaching that one and the angle of launch are crucial in this particular problem. Once we've got that, it's the horizontal distance travelled. It must equal the distance between the two vehicles. Now the horizontal distance travelled by the car is given by the horizontal component of the velocity multiplied by the time of flight. So the horizontal component of velocity, which is uh, given by the, the velocity of the car, and the time of flight in the air are crucial if that car has got to cross that gap of D, which you can see in the diagram. But our challenges are not finished there, because once the car lands, it's got to stop, and you just can't suddenly come to a stop. So once the car lands, it will have to have a horizontal component of velocity. It's got one. And the brakes, combined with the friction of the surface of the second vehicle, must be such that they'll bring the car to rest within the length of the lorry. So that's the challenges in this. And of course, we haven't mentioned one of the most important things, uh, and that is that air resistance must be taken into consideration in these calculations. Now, from all those statements, you can study them, treat it like a projectile problem, put down as much as you know, don't go overboard on this question, but put down as much as you know about a projectile and about bringing the objects to rest and accelerating them to a start, to accelerating them to a certain velocity, and mention a few things about the components of the, ve components of the velocity of the vector, and you should gather your three marks from all that. <laughs>